Brop, brop. It's the super crazy pickle who does crazy cool things. Today, well, we have our own tow truck company here at the Balcom Truck Service Inc. You know, we've had this sucker since 1949. I know I don't look like I'm that old, but apparently I am. And we've got a fleet of tow trucks here. We've got this one right here, which is our little, uh, I don't know. It's our little dude. And then we've got a service truck, actually. Doesn't do any towing whatsoever. And then we have a rollback. And that's it. We don't have any big boy wreckers or anything like that. But maybe we'll upgrade to some of that in the future. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. If we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, I will give away 10 copies of Farming Sim 22. So we're going to get right into our first call, which is a illegally parked vehicle over at the local Applebee's. So we are in the GMC and we're going to roll on over to Applebee's and get this one taken care of. We don't have a crazy amount of uh, contracts for today, but that is usual. Usually we get called out to things when emergencies happen and we're needed. So I am sure that business will be picking up today and we'll have more calls come in than we originally realized. But for now, we've got to go over here to Applebee's and take care of this one. So we're going to go ahead and just turn on our strobe lights. And we're going to pull right on up here and try and get this. Looks to be a Cadillac parked in a handicapped park spot. All right, so we got that thing down. And now we need to unfold it so it can go up underneath there. We've got it connected. Now we just got to lift that rear end up. And yes, we've had to do this a little bit of a strange way. But <laughs> just work with me, guys. This is the only way I could get this to work. Some vehicles just don't work. So we had to improvise. But we got it. We're towing it. I mean, all is good. It's getting out of that parking spot, and that's what matters. Okay, there is a car coming that way, so we're going to have to go this direction. We're towing a vehicle. We got it. It's, it's a little loose on there, but we definitely got it. So we're going to get this back on over to our yard, and it'll be impounded. And uh, we'll move on to the next objective here today. All right, we're just now getting a call of a car broke down over by the local high school. We're showing back up with this car that we just impounded here, but we're going to have to go and take care of this other call because it is broke down in traffic. There is an officer there trying to manage traffic at this time. But it is rather inconvenient for everybody. It's right at school, and school's going to be letting out here in a little bit. So we definitely want to get that taken care of. All right, we got that done. Now we're going to get into the rollback, and we're going to get this on over to our next job. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's do a check on the lights. The lights are all working. We're good to go. So we're going to get this thing on up to the school grounds where there is a car currently stalled in the roadway in fact i think i see it right up here so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our lights yeah this would be it okay so we got to find a good way to spin this around i would like to put it on the rollback from the front but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that so we're gonna go all the way down here and turn ourselves around and we'll see what we can do all right so i just came up here to check on if there's any good way for us to tow this from the front and there's not we're gonna have to do it from the rear they actually happen to have a hitch all right that officer moved his vehicle and we are gonna sneak right on around him and we're gonna have to tow this thing from the rear now unfortunately that means we're gonna have to turn ourselves around again because i was planning on towing this guy from the front but we're not gonna be able to do that so we're gonna turn this thing back around again and we're going to get it loaded up onto this rollback. Now we'll hop out. We're going to get the chains and stuff. And we're going to get this thing connected up to the winch. And we're going to get it pulled back up here onto the, uh, the rollback. We're getting it pulled back onto the rollback now. And right about there ought to do it. All right, we got to put it back on the rollback. We've got a couple straps on it. We're going to lift this thing up here. So let's run the hydraulics. There we go. Now we're rolling this thing right on back. And right about there. That should be the resting position. There we go. Disengage all of that. We're going to put one final strap up towards the front here. Right there will do. I'm going to take that strap off. That was a temporary strap. And I don't like that strap lo location. We're going to put it right there. That ought to do just fine. Okay. We've got the Prius loaded up onto the rollback. And we'll get on out of here. That officer will get on out of here as well. Actually, the owner has now requested that we take it to the local dealership here in town. 
So that is what we will do. So on over to the Dodge dealership we go. All right, we're just about to the Dodge dealership here. It's right up here to the right-hand side. We're going to take the front entrance right up here, and we will drop this off for the Prius owner, and hopefully they'll be able to get it fixed for him. So while we were doing that, we actually got a call over for another job, and this one, we might actually need the crane. I cannot decide what to take specifically here. Um, we very well might need this crane. It sounds like there was an accident out on the highway and there's a vehicle in between the guardrails and the barrier. And I don't know if I'll be able to get the roll, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to get onto the other side of the barrier if I just take the, the, the roll back. So should I take the crane to try and lift it up onto the roadway? We're going to take this out there. And we'll, we'll survey the situation. And if I can just get in there without picking it up and putting it onto the roadway, then we'll just do that. But for now, I have a feeling we're going to need this. All right. So we just pulled onto the highway here and the accident is dead ahead. So we're going to turn on our lights. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of traffic up here. Okay. Let's slow down. I see. So the truck is right there, but I do see there's a way right up there for me to get into the middle. This middle's pretty wide. I think I should be able to fit my rolled back through there. It'll be tight. There's a way entrance right down there where we just came in. I think we might try it that way instead of picking this vehicle up over the guardrail. That's just... That's a really dangerous thing to do, and I'm not exactly sure that I'm comfortable doing that, so... I'll tell you what, we'll leave this right here and we'll have one of our employees bring out the rollback for us. All right, so I was just surveying the damage of the vehicle here and it's missing the front tire. These tires got all kinds of messed up. It's bent, it's contorted, the chassis is all screwed up. So I don't think that this thing is, uh, well, I don't think we were going to lift it up. I think that would have been a bad idea anyways. We got the rollback here now. Let's actually hurry up and get in it before this car goes. Because I'm sticking out a little ways. There we go. So what we're going to do is run right down here. And uh, that's actually the semi right there. That's the person that caused the accident. They tried to get over and didn't see the, uh, the F-350 back there. And the F-350 got pushed into the guardrail and over the edge. But what we're going to do is actually not back in we're gonna pull in that's gonna be what we have to do here so watching traffic they got them all stopped so we should be able to do a little turnaround right here there we go watching traffic again we should be good okay so what we're gonna do is pull right on into here right on down the side and we're gonna line ourselves up Woo! yep that's tight but we can fit so what we're going to do is line ourselves up right up here. Oh, all right. Can we get past this or do I have to come in the other way? Ooh, that is tight. That is definitely a tight fit. I am able to get right on through there. Barely though. Wow. All right. Cross over to this side. And now what we'll do is line ourselves up and we will uh, back up, get it, try and get it up on the roll deck here. And, uh, and then we will just pull it on out on the roll deck. All right, but right about there is probably going to have to do. In fact, I might want to go forward just a little bit more. Okay, so what we're going to have to try and do is hook up to this guy some way, somehow, and hope we can actually roll him back. If not, we're going to have to pick him up and put him on the roll deck, which is just going to be a pain. I'm hoping that he'll still be able to roll to some degree here. All right, so we made a little bit of progress. We're able to get it back to here. We've got it pretty well lined up. Now we got to try and get this thing onto the rollback. The problem is it's actually a little bit too big for our rollback. So this is going to be a little more difficult than I originally anticipated. But we're going to try and roll it on back. We got the winch attached still. All right, I think we got it loaded up relatively. We got to see if we can get this bed to move on. Uh, back into the transport position here. So we're gonna give that a try. Let's see how it does. All right, there we go I think we got it loaded up and I think it's time to get this thing on out of here So let's hit the road. All right We are rolling and we're gonna try and very carefully get this thing out of here It is not the easiest thing to transport. It is all kinds of messed up. I mean, we got a whole entire back end 
just sitting up in the air as you can see right over there but it is what it is and we got it on for uh for transport we can at least get it moving so progress is progress and we're gonna have to call that one a win but guys that is going to do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future thank you all so much for watching and until next time i'll see you all later can you picture you and me in the darkness kissing touching